Hey guys, welcome back. This is Alberto Cordero and today I'm going to show you how to use this cool tool that I haven't used much in the last tutorials, but we're going to use Loft. All right. I'm going to show you as simple as possible how to use it and uh, you go from there. All right. So I'm just going to create a this circle right here and then I'm going to create this shape. Also, if you press shift and the wheel uh, mouse button, you just scroll the wheel, you can add more subdivisions, right? So I'm gonna go with something like this and I'm gonna put it kind of like right there. And then I'm gonna add a, maybe like a square, like rectangular shape, there you go. And I'm gonna put it in the middle and I'm just gonna pull it up. And then I'm gonna duplicate this one and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it right over here. All right. Let me see. I don't have any duplicate. All right. All good. So I want to connect all of those shapes and use some loft. So I'm just going to select the curves on the outside. There you go. And then I'm going to go here to loft or press L. And voila. Look how cool is that? It connects all the shapes using um the curves that you have that you draw oh man this is so cool look at that holy crap look at that beautiful and the, the cool thing about this and let me show you real quick in a second i'm gonna move this one over here because i like that one the cool thing about this is you can create as many shapes and you can draw some other shapes i'm gonna go here to the top and I'm going to create, I'm going to activate grid snap here real quick. And I'm going to create something, something random here. All right. I'm going to go with something like this. And then I'm going to go like that. And like this and like that. All right. And now I want to connect those two shapes. Oops. Uh, like this. All right, I'm gonna select the curves, the edges, and I'm gonna go with loft and look at that. Oh man. And the other, let me just go here to the front here real quick. I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna put it right here. And yes, it's gonna connect all of those. So I'm just gonna connect, I'm gonna select that, press L. Oof. This to create like some organic cool shapes this is fantastic look at this oh my god look at the 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 softness of the surface following the contour of the curve that's it's insane how good it works right so i'm if i let me duplicate that one and i'm going to put it right here I'm not sure how it's gonna go from this steep kind of let, let's let's see that one and this one press L woo look at that nice beautiful shape let me put it right over here I like that <laughs> nice look at that and uh, it, it's a it's it's like connecting it's like it's gonna connect um, the curves in a way. Let me put it here. There you go. So remember, select the outer curve, press Shift, select the other one, and it's gonna it's, it's gonna make it work. It's gonna select it. It's gonna like project the curves to each other and create that that skin when you press Loft beautiful like if i duplicate this one here put it over here maybe this is some sort of cool shape that i need it's like yeah let's let's do that look at that oh man this is so cool i think for now on i'm going to be using this quite a bit a little bit more because this is um, yeah i knew i knew about it but I, I was like you know i don't think i can use this yet i'm just gonna continue doing my all the type of uh, I guess modeling or whatever. 
<laughs> but this is actually this is actually pretty cool. And I heard that there's an update coming. I oh my god, I can't wait to test whatever they're cooking. So yeah, there's an update with uh, they said new tools or new features. So I can't wait for that. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, loft. It's a uh, super cool. Use it, you know, and uh, go crazy. All right. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit like. Thank you. Bye-bye.